What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be jumping into... Oh, sorry. We're going to be jumping into Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So, guys, before we start, I just wanted to give a big thank you to the following people for their super thanks. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for that and helping to support the channel. So, like I say, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Now, there's not a lot to go off looking at the poster. There's a lot of jumpers in there. Um, I can see Ginny, Neville. Neville's always in Harry Potter. How he needs more attention. Neville is very much unappreciated in the uh, Harry Potter series, I believe. And it looks like, I believe that's Luna Lovegood at the back there as well. It looks a lot like the place where they fought the snake in I believe the first film Chamber of Secrets um, obviously it could be somewhere completely different the Order of the Phoenix it sounds like a group or a clan or a secret meeting of um, people magicians I don't know now looking at the comments from the previous video I believe that uh, Mad Eye Moody probably isn't in this anymore because some of you have said there's a new woman who comes in as the dark arts teacher so I guess he's going to be replaced in this one so be really interesting to find out who that is because everybody in the comments has really hyped her up saying she is one of the best characters is in the whole franchise but i'm guessing we're going to start off at the dursley house get on a train go to hogwarts play a match with quidditch and then fight a big bad at the end but more importantly we're going to get more ron weasley and ron as you know is the main star of the show guys as i'm sure you are aware that unfortunately the actor who plays hagrid roppy coltrane recently passed away so we're going to leave some H's in the comments for Hagrid. Luckily for us, there are a few more films to go, so we do get to enjoy his work a little bit more before the end of the series. But without any further ado, guys, let's jump straight in. Do, 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 do. That was so bad. <laughs> you would have thought I'd know the theme tune by now. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That was like a Patronus ball thing there. A classic English countryside. Okay, so that kind of looks like the playground from the other one. Hey, Big D. Beat up another ten-year-old. Did he just call him Big D? <laughs> At least I'm not afraid of my pillow. <laughs> Is that actually Dursley? Who said that? He looks so much older now. Where is your mum? Oh, burn. Somebody called a fire brigade. Is she dead? <laughs> Potter. <laughs> like, ironically, Dursley's got a scar on his forehead. I'm not doing anything. It's just a coincidence you pulled out your wand and now magic stuff's happening. Dementors! Nope. Maybe. I mean, that's just classic UK weather, to be honest. Oh, yeah, okay. It is Dementors. Oh, look at its mouth. It's like the creature from Host and X-Files episode. Where a guy's like a worm. No, don't patrol them. Yeah. It's not gonna help Dursley, though, is it? Maybe you could like suck the fat out of him. How come they're all the way over here? I know you guys said that the real world and the potty world are like the same thing. It's just hidden like Wakanda. She looks like a robot. They might come back. Mrs. Fig. Okay, I recognise the name. I can't remember her face though. Dumbledore asked me to keep an eye on you. Intelligent now. <laughs> Look at Dursley's face. He is a big boy. Hot. That's right. Hot everywhere. That's. I recognise that weatherman. Giles something. Who did this to you, boy? Well, Dursley's mum's really uh, putting it out there today. You've finally, you've finally driven him loopy. This is the last I'm going to take of you and your nonsense. <laughs> All this nonsense and a bird just flies into the house. <laughs> oh, what's Harry's middle name? James, I guess, after his dad. You performed the Patronus charm in the presence of a mug. Yeah, that's naughty. You are hereby expelled. Oh, no way. 
I mean, to be fair, he was having his face sucked out. Justice. That guy looks like a mole rat. <laughs> like, for once, I'm on Potter's side. He was being killed. I think he's well within his rights to use magic. Oh, let me know in the comments. So that picture, is that like a digital frame, like we actually have? Or is it a magic frame, but the other people in the house can't see it because you, you're not allowed to do magic outside of Hogwarts? <laughs> Ah, oh, Cedric. That's my boy! Oh no, that's gonna be a Dobby again. Sounds a bit heavy footed, but banging around. It's gotta be the ham on legs. Oh, if you ever wanna break into a door like that, put a newspaper underneath, poke the key out, pull the key back under. Super easy. I learned that on MacGyver when I was a kid. Thanks for God's sake. Who are you? She's pretty nice as well. Professor Moody. Oh, it is mad I mute. Damn, look at her! Pending a formal hearing. A hearing? Don't worry, Harry, we'll explain everything when we get back to headquarters. Yeah, you can explain everything to me right now. Whoa, look at Moody's broom. Don't break ranks if one of Is Moody's broom like a like a Harley? He's leaning back on it. I guess we're not getting on the train. So if you guys aren't aware, that is the Houses of Parliament, where British politicians do absolutely nothing, rarely turn up and just argue with each other. For some reason, it's a tourist destination. Oh, it's like Inception, or Doctor Strange. I would love to make my house bigger like that. Oh, serious? Mr. Weasley. Oh, it's everybody. Mrs. Weasley. Oh, are these guys the Order of the Phoenix then? They're like a secret group. <laughs> Straight upstairs. That looks like a Dobby skull. Oh, there's another one. That doesn't sound like Dobby. He looks like the caretaker guy. Is it Finch? Finchy? The guy with Scraggle Cat. He looks like him. <sighs> Check out all those horizontal stripes. Oh, there's a mentor attack. Let breathe, Hermione. Yeah. What were you up to in there with Hermione, Ron? I know your games. I can't explain you. It's completely unfair. So what is this place? Looks like Ron's been to the gym. The Order of the Phoenix. That's the name of the movie. It's a secret society. Ron is the right name. How come Hermione's there? I kind of get that Ron's there because his mum and dad are there. But why would they just pick up Hermione? Maybe I could help. After all, I'm the one who saw Voldemort return. Because you're the problem, Potter. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> Man, I bet kids today don't even know that you can do that with two tins and a piece of string. Just like his <laughs> I love that cat. He's so fluffy. Down in the kitchen. Harry Potter. Oh yeah, no, don't do that. And what has the Ministry of Magic got against me? It's probably Harry, because every time you're around, bad stuff happens. The minister thinks Dumbledore's after his job. We believe Voldemort may be after something. Something he didn't have last time. Hair. A wig. Like a weapon. He's just a boy. No, he's not. He's Harry bloody Potter. If Voldemort's raising an army, then I want to fight. Oh, we're at the train station. I guess the subway, but... The genius, these muggles. Wait, who was surprised that there's a train underground? Does he not go around like the real world? I'll just get my muggle money. Muggle money. Ah, this is the place we saw on the poster. Is that Warwick Davis as a different character again? It looks kind of Orwellian. It changed the time of your hearing. When is it? Now. In five minutes. Right, they know he's bad. Oh, well, obviously he's bad and he's talking to Fudge. But, like, why doesn't Harry tell everybody, like, that guy is with Voldemort and now he's right here? That can't be a good sign. Truth will out, I'm afraid. Hey, I just had my hair cut. That's what my hair was like, like, yesterday. When I'm old, I'm going to look like him. <laughs> Witness for the defence, Wolfric. Brian. Brian. <laughs> 
I arrived at the ministry three hours early. Yeah, you got plea, boy. Shown us charm in the presence of a muggle. I don't think Dursley would have noticed, like, he was being sucked off at the time. I was only doing it because of the Dementors. Muggles can't see Dementors. I'm not lying. Yeah, he hasn't got any proof. Since you can produce no witnesses, we can. Yeah, the old woman, she knew about it. Please yeah, there she is. What did they look like? One of them was very large, and the other rather skinny. She's describing the boys. <laughs> Everything went cold, as though all the happiness had gone from the world. Yeah, again, that's just the weather in the UK. <laughs> Dementors are under the control of the Ministry of Magic. She looks dodgy. She's, like, staring. She's got starey eyes. Had ordered the attack on this boy. Yeah, that's not what he said. Of course, there is someone who might be behind the attack. You. Stop it. Fuck. The Lord clearly states that magic may be used before muggles in life threatening situations. Exactly. To hold a full criminal trial, a simple matter of underage magic. Yeah, it does seem a bit excessive. Those in favour of conviction. No, I'm joking. I'll let him off this time. I'm on Potter's side today. So far. Clearing the accused of all charges. Yeah, let him go. Just tell him to stop pissing around all the time. He's the one that's always causing the trouble. Cleared of all charges. <laughs> Professor. Yeah, talk to the hand, Potter. Dumbledore's getting sick of bailing you out. Padfoot. Padfoot is serious, right? Serious, what are you doing here? Anyway. Where did he get the coat from? Is the coat magic? Because, I mean, he was a dog a second ago. The dog didn't have a coat on. Original Order of the Phoenix. Let me guess, your dad's on it. Voldemort wiped out her entire family. Neville's parents. Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? That Wormtail guy was there. So if he was part of the Order, then Voldemort knows about the Order. He'll keep it. Where did Sirius keep that photo when he was a dog? Oh, hello. Voldy's got a suit on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Plotter, Harry Twice Potter. Minutes, <laughs> I expect there's a cell in Azkaban with your name on it. Oh, what are you gonna do, Potter? Complete nutter. Just stay away from me! He's a very aggressive little man, isn't Something he? Else. Got a very short temper, old Potter. Hey, Neville. Sup, Neville? Whoa, what is that? What is it? Deaf horse. It's what? That? Oh, Put oh, it's not even there. Pulling the carriage, Harry. Oh, Potter can see dead people. Pulling itself like always. Looks a lot like a bird. Oh, that's Luna. I thought it was Dumbledore for a second. <laughs> I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Yeah, she looks crazy as fuck. Everyone that says Looney lo Luna loves good. Oh, Looney. <laughs> Mate, she does look Looney. Keeps away the nargles. Right, what is a nargle? I want to see that. What's a nargle? See, me and Ron, we're like that. Seamus, blow something up. Good evening, children. We're pleased to welcome back Professor Grubbly Plank. Grubbly Plank? While Professor Hagrid is on temporary leave. Oh, is Hagrid not in this one? Welcome our new Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. OK, so we got a new Dark Arts teacher. She was the woman in the, um, in the hearing, though. She reminds me of my ex. Not that my ex was that old, but <laughs> she loved pink. Happy faces smiling up. The ministry of I don't like her. She's weird. Must be discouraged. Prohibited. She sounds very traditionalist. She likes it how it used to be. Yeah, scraggle cat. It means the ministry's interfering at Hogwarts. Hey, at least he hasn't got that stupid haircut anymore. Good holiday. Better than Seamus's. <laughs> Why? What happened to Seamus? Well, nobody was there the night Cedric died. Like everybody was there. You need to know. Don't you dare talk about my mother like I'll that. I'll have a go at anyone that calls me a liar. Has anyone else got a problem with Harry? Yeah, Ron, my boy, sticking up. Harry's kicking off. Ron's got to sort it out. I really want Seamus to blow something up, though. I don't know, stick a bomb under Potter's bed or something. I said I'm fine, Ron. Oi, he just had your back. What's your fucking mouth? I mean, maybe it's not danger. He keeps waking up in a sweat dreaming about men, so give me something else. Good morning, 
Charming children. Ordinary visiting level examination. Our levels. And the consequences may be severe. I would hate a teacher like that. She seems like a psycho. Ministry approved course of defensive magic. Well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. You will be learning about defensive spells in a secure, risk-free way. This seems very relevant to today's culture. There is nothing out there, dear. Lord Voldemort. You're not supposed to say his name. He says his name so often. She looks like she's something else, like she's a, a monster in a human's skin. In a simulator, Mr. Potter. <laughs> you mentalist. Ah, oh, look at them cats. I hope they're not captured cats. They better be just pictures and not like captured in the plates. That one's got clothes on. That's so cool. Good evening, Mr. Potter. Oh, she's got a picture of fudge. I want pictures like that. That'd be so cool. No, not with your quill. I'm going to be using a rather special one of mine. That erases them as you write them. I must not tell lies. Oh, you won't need any ink. Oh, no way. That's kind of cool, though. You deserve to be punished, don't you, Mr. Potter? Don't you, Mr. Potter? Skydiving snack boxes. Sweets that make you ill. <laughs> His head looks like a ball sack. <laughs> stupid. You're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. Oh, so he had some weird sweets. The parents knew about this. Yeah, well, I haven't got any of those, have I, Robert? You know, growing up, people always said I should never wear orange because of my hair. Ron wears orange all the time. Winter is definitely on the way. And winter is coming. There's a dragon. Oh, they're the things that pull in the carriage. Is that a noggle? Wait, did Tarantino direct this one? Potter, unfortunately, all my shoes have mysteriously disappeared. Suspect nargles are behind them. Okay, that's not a nargle. What are they? They're called pestrels. They can only be seen by people who've seen death. What death have you seen, Luna? My mum. One day, one of her spells went badly wrong. Sounds like an allegory for a drug addiction. And the Ministry and the Prophet are conspiring against you and Dumbledore. I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. You're not as much of a threat. Yeah, because you need my boy Ron to back you up. What's she feeding it steak? I knew this girl once. Her mum used to give the dog fillet steak. It's like the most expensive steak. I'm hungry. Can I join you? No. <laughs> You conform to the prescribed disciplinary practices. Yeah, you don't cut them up, you mentalist. Not merely your medieval methods. Have a fight. The minister himself. Wait a minute. She's not fudge, is she? Cornelius will want to take immediate action. She's either obsessed with fudge or she is fudge and she's using that um, polyjuice potion. But we had that last time, so maybe not. Dolores Umbridge to have powers. No, she can't be fudge, because in the hearing with Potter, they were both in the room at the same time. I mean, I like how she's cleaning the place up, but she is clearly psychotic. But you were unsuccessful. <laughs> oh, what? So has the Weasley brothers got their little shop at this point? Because I know some of you guys said in the um, comments that Potter gave all of his winnings to the Weasley brothers to open their joke shop. But I don't know if that's in the books or if that's something that's going to come. One teensy little prophecy. I got a prophecy. I'm going to slap you around the face. You are in grave danger. <laughs> What's going on? What happened? Oh, man. She's a bit of a fruit, but there's no need for that. Actually, I can. Something you'd like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Go on, punch her in the throat. If this was a proper horror, it should be eaten by cats at the end. We do not have, have the authority to banish him from the ground. Go on, give her a backhand. For now. And it turn out she's Palpatine. Professor, Professor, Professor. Stop pushing your luck, Potter. He doesn't want to talk to you. Disappearances are the work of notorious mass murderer. Harry Sirius Potter. Black. Well. <laughs> what are you doing here? Worried about Umbridge. Oh, it's different this time. Training you to kill Hal. That looks like um, they couldn't afford the effect from the last one. <laughs> Fudge doesn't want you trained in combat. What does he think? We're forming some sort of wizard army. Dumbledore is assembling his own forces to take on the ministry. 
This is very much like Star Wars right now. We've got to be able to defend ourselves. You've done pretty well for the last five films. Who's going to teach them? Snape. This is mad. Uh, what's the name of that place? Hogs... No, not Hogsmeade. Thanks, Ron. You all know why we're here. We need a teacher. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? One who's had real experience defending themselves against the Dark Arts. It's got to be Snape. Because you know who's back here, Tosspot. So yeah, yeah, so dick. <laughs> Is it true you can produce the Patronus chime? Are they in different years? Because, like, Hermione looks a lot older than Luna. He killed a basilisk. Third year, he fought with about 100 Dementors at once. Yeah, a bit much. <laughs> He did fight off you know who in the flesh. Wait, the truth is most of that was just luck. Yeah, I've been saying that. You've been roasting me in the comments for that. Even Potter agrees now. Facing this stuff in real life is not like school. You don't know what that's like. Because if we're going to have any chance of beating Voldemort. Just call him Voldy. He's really back. Were you not paying attention just then, kid? <laughs> no, wait. Wait a minute. They don't mean Harry Potter's going to be the teacher, do they? No! First, we need to find a place of practice. Where I'm God damn it. Cho couldn't take her eyes off you, could she? Oh, Ginny didn't look happy. Damn, she's there. Ah, oh, Filch hasn't turned, has he? Which way are you going, Longbottom? Or oh, what, boy? That wall looks suspicious. Okay, I guess that's where they're gonna train. Some kind of secret room. Found the room's requirement. The room's requirement only appears when a person has real need of it. So you really needed the toy. <laughs> Charming one. No, he's got a point. What is that? Oh, they like robots you gotta fight. Like training bots. See, that's the downside to rooms like that. They take so long for the doors to, like, appear and disappear. Nigel. Okay, who's Nigel? In, like, the grand scheme of things. I'll go easy on Thanks, Ron. Oh, Ron, she's gonna fuck you up. Oh, Ron. I let her do that. No, don't drink the tea. It's probably that truth juice that Snape talked about in the last film. Expelliarmus! <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's kind of cool, that Nigel. I like him. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Those wishing to join the Inquisitorial squad for Yeah, she's forming like a Gestapo. Hey, Stephen. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Fantastic, Neville. Yeah, well done, Neville. It's only taking you like four years. So. Neville's good with plants. They should utilize that. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Would you excuse me? The Weasley twins have got W on everything, and there's two of them, and two upside down Ws are Ms, and that'd be the Ministry of Magic. You're a really good teacher, Harry. Go on, Potter, make a move. I've never been able to stun anything before. He'll be like, you stunned me. Hey, the room gives you what you need, right? What are Nargles? We better find out what Nargles are. Potter! Kind of a bit weird with, like, the face of Cedric watching over him. You know, because then he's dead and everything. Be like having sex in front of your nan's ashes. How was it? Wet. I mean, she was sort of crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. Oh, it's a snake! Voldemort may be after something. Wait, whose head's that? That's Ron's dad. Oh, no! This isn't really happening, is it? Oh, shit. Is Ron's dad really dead? That'd be so bad for Ron. In the dream, were you standing next to the victim? It was like I... You were the killer. Not in Albus. It was close, but they think you'll make it. What's more, the dark... Oh, shit. Look at me! Whoa, easy. What's happening to me? 
You're turning into Darth Vader by the looks of things, mate. It appears that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own what is unclear. He's gonna torture it out of him. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. <laughs> Concentrate, Potter. It's like Voldemort is Palpatine and Potter is Anakin Skywalker as he turns into Darth Vader. Yes. <laughs> I need to get a Ron Weasley sweater. I can't understand why you don't want to wear it, Ronald. You look like a bloody idiot, that's why. Yeah, no more than at the uh, Yule Ball in the last film. The boy who stopped the Dark Lord, my poor mistress. Richard! Phineas was the guy in the picture, wasn't he? And on that wall, he's all burnt out. Creature lives to serve the noble house of Black. Cygnus and Arcturus, their star system. Sirius. Ur Ursus. This is my it's the Big Dipper. This is the Black family tree. They're all stars. Andromeda, obviously. Bellatrix. See how they got like the burnt out people. When I saw Mr. Weasley attack, I was the snake. Sirius has got a weird look about him at the moment. Is that I am becoming more like him. I just feel so angry all the time. I hate them. And Sirius is like Obi Wan. You're a very good person. Who bad things have happened to? Yeah, a lot of bad things. Yeah. <laughs> the, the world isn't split into good people and death eaters. That's a very generalization that everybody who's not a good person is a death eater. <laughs> Cassiopeia, that's another one. Hagrid's back. Yeah, Hagrid's back. If only it was that easy. It's kind of funny, really. Like, this is a fantasy film, but a lot of these posh boarding schools in the UK, they do wear stuff like that with capes all the time. I'm ordering you to tell me where you've been. Bit of fresh air, you know. This is top secret. Dumbledore sent me to parley with the giants. Giants? <laughs> to fight with giants. <laughs> Go on, you have it then, you dozy dog. It's like everybody's giving away steak at the moment. I haven't had steak for ages. There's a storm coming, Harry. Storm's coming up, Annie. Star Wars. It's Star Wars. <laughs> hey, that's Helen the Bottom Carter. In prison clothes. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that's Azkaban Jail. Personal experience of escaping from Azkaban. Sirius Black. Mass murderer, Sirius Black. Bellatrix Lestrade. Oh, Bellatrix, that was on the wall. She's part of the Black family somehow. I believe you. You could use Seamus. You could use his skills in blowing shit up. Bellatrix Lestrange used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. Oh, wow, okay. But on that family tree, I think she was really low and Sirius was quite high. Would that have to be like a niece or something? Expecto Patronus. Just remember. Oh, she's made a horse. So focus, Luna. Yeah, what's... <laughs> Luna's absolutely off her tits. <laughs> I thought hers would be something weirder. Oh, the giants. I want to know what they look like. Oh shit, no, it's her. Where's Malfoy? There he is. Get them. You know who never fooled us for a minute. Isn't that Percy? Percy Weasley. Control of the ministry. I'm head boy. Professor, he had nothing to do with it. It was me. You will escort Dumbledore to Azkaban. Oh shit. To await trial for conspiracy. I thought he might hit this little snag. He's a hologram. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. I don't quite know what that was. That's so many rules now. Oh no! This will be submitted to questioning of As he had to take down all of those pictures. Man, that takes so long. I know he's grumpy, but he doesn't seem like he's bad. There's more of them. They could just rush her now. They could expelliarmus the cup into her eyes. Oh, and she's outside. That's how you deal with people like that. You, uh, you take the person who was naughty and you punish all their friends instead. 
I'm not saying that she was naughty. Obviously, she she broke for whatever reason. That's how you torture people. You torture the ones they love. I tried so hard to help, and all it's done is make things worse. Some might say that you tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. How can you sneak around when you're that big? <laughs> Centaurs. And they're dangerous at the best of times. And I just couldn't leave without telling someone about him. Robby. Looks like Dursley. <laughs> oh, he looks like Lee Evans, the comedian. He's not a giant. He's a troll, right? I couldn't just leave him because because he's my brother. Oh wow. Well, half brother, really. Uh, what? What was your mum up to? It is all. Hagrid's mum really wanted that big meat. Come on, Ron, get up the tree. Save the woman you love. Put me down. You just stay away from her. All right. <laughs> Weak effort, Ron. Weak effort. Oh wow. Feeling sentimental. What a flashback! Look how young he looks. <laughs> Every memory he has access to is a weapon he can use against you. You won't be just like your father. Lazy, arrogant. Don't say a word against my father. Your father was a swine. <laughs> Potato! Oh. Snape! Spill the armor. Oh, he bullied him. What a dick. See me take off Snivy's trout. I mean, it explains why Snape's the way he is, but damn. Potter's dad was a dick. What a bitch. Naughty children deserve to be punished. She wants to play naughty boy. I've always felt our futures lay outside the world of academic achievement. What, are they going to leave school? It's a Dumbledore. Oh no, it's the Weasley boys. They're up to something. The Scalary Brothers! Scalary Brothers! <laughs> it's kind of cool because when this comes out, it must be about bonfire night now in the UK. Yes! We got Potter falling over. You'll have to kill me. Serious. What if Voldemort meant for you to see this? Yeah, what if it's a trap? He's the only family I've got left. You've got to control your emotions, Potter. Be mindful of your thoughts, Anakin. They betray you. Oh, come on. It's good that they reuse a lot of the spells from previous films and things. So there's like continuity. Hey, wait, where did that, that cat just run off? They're like spies. You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? <laughs> Have you brought the Veritas serum? He's got Padfoot. No, I don't. No idea. I mean, I'm assuming she's like on Voldemort's side, right? She's not just a regular psycho. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. What? Doesn't know, won't hurt him. Well, if you won't tell her where it is... I... Ah, she's faking out. Dumbledore's secret weapon. Yeah, Hermione wouldn't do it. Not far. She's setting you up for that big giant guy to, like, slap her around. Where is this weapon? Ring the bell. That'll make him turn up. You were trying to trick me. I really hate children. I'm thinking she's just actually psycho. I thought she was part of, like, Voldemort's plan. Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. No. Gone straight through the eye. Dare you! Filthy half-breed! <laughs> like, I know it's a fancy film, but, like, can't somebody just punch you in the face? Like Hermione could have just spun around then, cracked her right in the jaw. No, enough! No, oh, just think, man, if this wasn't a kid's film, they could rip her limbs off and just tear her to pieces. It'd be so much fun. Dumbledore's arm is supposed to be about doing something real. We fly, of course. On the noggles. Or on those uh pestrels. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, this was the poster. Oh, you split up. Do not split up, Potter? He should be here. He's got your name on it. Maybe it's like the little bit of flesh off his forehead. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches. For neither can live while the other survives. Ah, oh, it's Doctor Doom. Where's Sirius? And reality. Ah, Lucius. Of the Dark Lord wanted you. See, Hermione was right again. It was a setup. It's a trap. <laughs> Bitty, baby. So I don't like that accent. Oh, the tricks are strange. Is that the long bottom, is it? How's one? Oh. Better now they're about to be avenged. <laughs> Go on, Neville. I hope Neville gets the killer. All we want is that prophecy. To come and get this. This was him behind you. What was the reason for the connection between you and the Dark Lord? Yeah, are you like brothers or something? Now, shoot the Oh, what? That was a bit rude. Yeah, nice shot. Stupefy! Okay, how come they're doing the stupefy wizard thing? That makes things go all stupid, like when the spider got roller skates on. That doesn't look good. Oh, what is that? There aren't any voices, Harry. Luna can hear them. Just an empty archway. Get behind me! Oh, no. The way you're truly. So, how do these Death Eaters fly around like that? Is it just because they're evil? Give me the prophecy. Watch your friends die. Well, there's a prophecy, so if Potter knows what it is, it doesn't matter if he gives it to him because he'll be able to see and he'll be like, oh shit, it's not going to go the way we thought it was. Get away from my godson. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> yeah, boy! It's about time somebody got punched in the head. It's that Dumbledore. Oh, no, it's her. Okay, that's a little bit confusing that they can fly as well. So like everybody can fly. Let me take it from here. Billy Armour. Nice one, James. Hey, he just called you by his dad's name. Oh, did he get him? That was the death one. Oh, damn, son. I still want Neville to kill her, though, not Potter. He's had enough action. But you're related to Sirius Black. <laughs> Let Neville do the torture one on her. She killed him. She deserves it. See, Star Wars again. Good, and he can good. Kill him. Let the darkness flow through you. <laughs> Do it! Come on, that's Star Wars. It was foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. And you shall be dead. That would be an epic fight. <laughs> yeah, get away, Potter. Now oh, that's pretty cool. We need some electric fingers now. Oh, what's wrong with him? You've lost, old man. Oh, he's got some riddle in him. You are like my brother. Look at me. And you'll never know love. Friendship. And you'll never get through a film without falling over. <laughs> oh shit, what just happened? Voldemort's come into my room and turning my lights out. You're a fool, Harry Potter. 
You're a fool, Harry Potter. He's back. Are you actually believe it now? It's my fault. Neither one can live while the other one survives. It's kind of good how um, Daniel Radcliffe, as he gets older, he's looking more like Harry Potter's dad, which obviously at the start of the series, they couldn't have known. And Filch has had to put back all of those paintings. I'm guessing without using magic. <laughs> the things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. I think I'll just go have some pudding. She's a weirdo, isn't she? Okay, guys, so that was Harry Potter 5, Order of the Phoenix. Really good film. Again, I really enjoy these films. They're so much fun. I don't know what I'm going to do when the series ends. I've been thinking about Lord of the Rings next, maybe, but they are so long. They don't look as fun, to be honest. I don't know. We might give them a go. But if you've got any suggestions for the next series to uh, watch on the channel, obviously leave that down in the comments below. So let's talk about the cast. We had some new characters up here. We had uh, Umbridge. She was an absolute psycho. I honestly thought that Fudge and Umbridge, I thought they were part of like the Voldemort plan, but it turns out that Fudge was just in denial that Voldemort was back and Umbridge was just a maniac. We've also been introduced to Luna Lovegood. I don't know what I think about her yet. She seems kind of cool, but at the same time, she is actually off her tits. I don't know if she's on drugs, medication, if she's being magicked in the brain and had like a magical lobotomy or something, but she is like, she is absolutely away with the fairies. And of course, uh, Bellatrix the Strain has turned up and she got away. I was really hoping that Neville was gonna get to kill her. Hopefully in the next film or one of the future films, Neville does get to get his revenge and uh, I don't know, like use his wand to rip her throat out, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I really want Neville to be the one that kills Bellatrix. Really good to see the cast just continue all the time. We got some Ginny in there now as well. She seems to be making a lot more of an appearance. Cho was in it again. She's got a little thing going on with Harry, but then by the end, she's gone. So I don't know where she's disappeared to, or that that could be a part that I missed right at the end. We never did find out what a Nargle is. Let me know in the comments, do we find out in a future film? Because I want to know what a Nargle is. And of course, we got to see more Scraggle Cat. Films take a long time to make, and this film franchise ran over a long period. So I'm really hoping that Scraggle Cat stayed with us from the first film to the last. I would still love to see an absolutely horrific, gory version of Harry Potter. Imagine if Umbridge had been like ripped apart by those centaurs, just their arms, you know, proper gores, not like off screen, not CGI. I mean, well, maybe a bit of CGI, but practical effects. Her arms being ripped off and her legs ripped off and she's screaming. Something like that would be so good. Just a really, really gory adult rated one would be amazing but guys enough of me babbling on about horror potter which they're obviously not going to make we do have three more films left to go i know there's deathly hallows part one and two which must mean that the next film is the half-blood prince is that going to be a new character or does it turn out that harry potter is also a prince um who knows with this but for all of you guys who say that i'm always shitting on potter yeah i do but it's because it's fun he did well in this one he didn't deserve to get imprisoned or um you know go to trial and all that you know that wasn't his fault harry did all right in this one um still waiting for my boy ron to get with hermione it's like just make a move ron um but yeah guys let me know what your thoughts down in the comments below as always if you've jumped into this video and you haven't seen the previous ones you can find a link to the playlist at the end of this video hopefully by christmas i will have a nice ron weasley sweater that i can wear and until next time guys i will see you on the next one